what's good everybody welcome back In my last video i told you guys to order a folding brace and all that so i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gonna do it and the one that i ordered it was the sb tactical which is this one right here if you guys are interested in getting this one just go ahead and uh uh this is what you guys need so you'll need this one right here uh and then the adapter to install it is gonna be this right here which is the one with the picatinny adapter and this is how it looks and this just goes under the uh, grip so you just loosen it up and slide it in but i'm gonna show you guys real quick how to do it uh, i ain't really seen a video out there so that's why we're here to show you guys and this is how it looks it looks pretty nice so there is two different ways to do it there is one way to just keep this right here and then you remove this and ju just install the adapter but i was gonna do that at the beginning but since you keep keep this right here uh the adapter to fold it it is a little bit thick so it's gonna be probably to right here and then installing this it's gonna be probably until right here so it is a pretty long so i just decided to go this way uh what else so yeah if you guys are interested in getting that make sure to get both of these which is this one right here and then the folding brace and i believe the folding brace is like around 199 or so i can't remember uh but yeah let's get to it so it, this right here it is loose because i did took it off from my jts and the screw for it it is long for this to be able to fit so i just went ahead went ahead and put it back together that way i'll show you guys how to install it and stuff so let me go ahead and uh empty it make sure everything's um uh, good before we even start with nothing on the chamber or anything as you guys see nothing safety first all the time so you are gonna need three different allen keys one is gonna be a little s one for for to remove this right here and then you're gonna need one for this to be able to install it and then last is to be able to loosen this up so let's go ahead and start so first thing you're gonna want to um, loosen this up right here which is this little screw right here so let me go ahead and loosen it up and that little screw is just uh i'll show you guys real quick that little screw right there is the one that tightens this up that way it, it won't move so whenever you unscrew it it's pretty simple to remove it so you're just gonna twist it and just keep turning it until it comes out you're also gonna need some loctite that way you can put everything with loctite and then it has another screw right here so go ahead and remove that one and that add-in key is going to be the same this one and this one is going to be the same so that's why i said you only need three so just go ahead and remove this one so these screws are going to be pretty tight so just be aware of that mines aren't that tight because i did took it off already so one way to remove them uh you can get some vice grips and just put it like this and just put the vice grips right here and just twist it same thing with this one this one was uh, really hard to remove uh what else and go ahead and just uh loosen this up right here i'm gonna go ahead and loosen it up a little bit more because i know it's gonna need it a little bit more and like i said whenever uh whenever you loosen this up uh, just go ahead and get some vice grips make sure your allen keys are kind of long something like this because if not it's not gonna go all the way down so when you get the allen key put the vice grips right here and same thing just turn it that's the easiest way for me whenever i try to take it off so this one you don't really gotta remove it all the way just enough a little gap just like this and then after that, just go ahead and uh, insert the this the adapter, just like that. Make sure it's all the way in, and then tighten it up. Make sure the the grip is all the way forward as well. That way you don't have no play at all. 
and you know what I'm gonna do I am gonna remove this one all the way just to put some put some Loctite so I might as well just remove it that way uh, you guys have it firm and stuff it shouldn't come off either way I just like to go a little bit more you know in depth and everything do it the proper way it is a little hard to try to put it in and you know put it in place because it does move from the bottom piece and like I said, this screw, I believe it came with it. So, and if it didn't, I think it was from my JTS. Can't remember. So, so this piece right here is, is gonna wanna fall off. So just put it like that, that way it don't fall on. And I'm not even gonna take it off from there. I'm just gonna put a little bit of Loctite right here. And the one that I use is the blue one. It works pretty good. Just make sure not to put a lot. So, let me put it back together. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, just go ahead and uh, put in the comments below. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. I do read all the comments, so just go ahead and comment if you do have a question. Or on my other guns, same thing. Just go ahead and comment. If you want to see something specific on a, on a different gun, I will be bringing the, more videos on the, what is it, on the SD9VE. I know you guys really like that gun and have a lot of questions on that one. So I am going to be doing a little bit more upgrades on that one. I haven't forgot. I've just been kind of busy on my other ones. I went ahead and put it too much in. If you guys don't want to put any Loctite, uh, that's on you. But you don't have to remove all the, all the way the, the screw. You just slide it in just like that. Once you do that, just go ahead and make sure uh, you tighten it up real good. I think that's good enough. So, on this one, on the JTS one, it does come with this one right here, so it's pretty good. If So, after you put the hand guard, I mean the grip, just go ahead and uh, put everything back because you're not going to need it open no more. So yeah, this one right here, I'm going to loosen it up and it does come apart so just be careful not to drop it or anything like that because if you do, you don't want to lose that. So I am going to put some Loctite on it as well. I always like to put Loctite, that way uh, the screws don't come apart whenever you're shooting in. Most likely they won't, but you never know. I like to be on the safe side. And especially if you're not going to be taking it off and stuff. So, and then you just, you just mount it right here. You can put it kind of high. Cause it does have a couple of grooves in there but i like to put it like kind of like flush you see how it looks if, if i put in the other one it looks too up looks weird so i am gonna put it like right there and just depending whatever you like go ahead and do it if you want to put it more up that's on you so just go ahead and put some Loctite then go ahead and uh, just screw it back on and I did uh, order some mags as well they did came in I'm gonna do a video for you guys I'll probably post that next week uh, I order a 40 round and I order some a uh, couple of 30 rounds that way I can test them out and see 
which uh, 31 mag works pretty good and which is don't which uh, doesn't so yeah we're just gonna be testing them out and stuff like that so yeah that's about it for this one uh, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks let me just remove a little bit of stuff here in the table so yeah that's how it looks man um, if you guys <laughs> like the finish just go ahead and comment below and like I said if you guys have any questions just go ahead and uh, leave a comment below and the way to fold this one you just um, go ahead and put uh, your thumb right here and and then you just lift the brace up a little bit at first it is kind of complicated you know if you're not used to doing it uh, but after that it is pretty easy and this is how it looks uh, folded it looks pretty nice overall I like how it looks it looks really really nice and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks with the with the with the magazine it looks really nice overall I like it tell me what you guys think comment below and if it's your first time on the channel make sure you guys subscribe like the like the video and yeah and just stay tuned for more upgrades i will be doing a lot of upgrades in this one uh like i said i'll probably keep this wood right here uh for a little bit i might change it up a little bit later i don't know but i like the original look uh i like the brace so far so overall it looks nice and it is my uh my truck gun so so yeah I do have a backpack already for it, uh, and this is a uh, Draco uh, BSKA, and yeah, just stay tuned and see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.